Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So you can probably tell by the surroundings that I'm not in Bath, I'm not in the cottage, I'm actually in London. So I have just pulled up, or just pulled up, I'm in Sloane Square where I got the tube and I'm making my way to a couple of events today. One of them I can't actually show you but the other one I'm hoping I can show you some of. So I'm here for the John Lewis um, Spring and Summer 2023 collection showcase. So to show you everything that's kind of coming up. Um, I'm really excited to see it. I've heard that there's a lot of new kind of fabrics and a lot of different colours and textures and shapes and stuff so yeah really really looking forward to seeing that so yeah let's go in just before i do actually go in so this event is at their peter jones store which i never actually know why it's called peter jones if you know why the sloan square john lewis is called peter jones please let me know in the comments but yeah i'm really looking forward to it and i am obviously kind of in the process of looking for what kind of things I might like in our next house and also when I work with clients or on blog posts, YouTube videos etc I do try and share a mix of kind of luxury and more affordable pieces as well and I know that John Lewis are doing a lot at the moment for sustainability and for also making sure that their pieces are affordable and sorry about the building work <laughs> give a kind of wide range of prices so yeah i will show you that now and then i'm gonna head to soho home and zara and then i'm gonna try and whiz back home because i've had a bit of a nightmare with london this week i've been here like three or four times already um and yeah one of the times i had a nightmare with driving here and i got loads of fines and yeah long story but i will catch up with you in a bit Okay guys, so it's now the next day and I'm home from London. I will show you some of the things that I picked up whilst I was there, but I just want to say the new collection from John Lewis was literally beautiful. Some of it will have launched by now, some might be kind of slowly coming out, but you can check it out on their website. I feel very, very grateful that I was able to attend. I loved so many of the patterns and textiles they had. It made me really, really excited for a new project for myself. Um, and yeah, just really, really inspired me. They had so many of the warm colours that I'm loving right now. Lots of blues, um, lots of like rich rust colours. And I think there was a bit less kind of caring about 
kind of being neutral and plain even though I obviously do love that vibe but it felt really nice to have like a collected feel and to also be making such an effort with sustainability like I said um, so I spoke with a really really lovely lady who is the sustainability lead I think is her job for John Lewis and she just knew so much about kind of all the processes in designing and manufacturing the furniture, how all of John Lewis sofas are now made fully in the UK. They have a factory in, I think in Lang Lancaster, Lancashire, I'm not sure, um, which is amazing and a lot of brands don't have that. So very, very impressed, but I was very kindly given a goodie bag. So I thought I would show you what was in there. Um, so, ooh, those are nice. I did like briefly open them, but in the dark yesterday. So I've got these two tumblers, which have a really, really nice like burgundy detail to them. They are called JL John Lewis Tinted Tumbler Pom. Hmm, really, really lovely with a nice stripe detail. I actually have these mugs from Loaf, which are in a really similar colour, so those will, and I have um, an oven glove in that same sort of deep red colour, so I'm going to put those straight on the shelf now to add like, a hint of red, um, and then that's really nice. Oh god, that's good. So that one's £18, this tray, and I will link it down below, but I love this kind of scallop detail. I think I've actually seen this on a few people's Instagram channels. So yeah, I really love this. I think my friend Arthur maybe has it. I'm not sure. But yeah, I really love the colour of that, that sort of like deep, I don't know what, it's kind of somewhere between teal and forest green, but yeah, really, really love that. And then there's also a candle, I'm guessing. I really like these candles as well. I think I've said that before, but there's a shop in um, Clifton in Bristol, if anyone is local, and it's called Truce. And they sell these candles, and I always go in and I do smell them, but because I know they're sort of a bigger brand, I want to kind of buy the smaller, smaller brands from that shop, so. Um, oh, oh my god, that smells amazing. Whew, that is so nice, really fresh. That would be a really, really nice um, like bedroom or bathroom candle. Oh, that's a really, really good fragrance. It is Scandinavic <laughs> Iceland Solitude scented candle. So really, really love that. So thank you to the John Lewis team. It also is a really nice like soft grey blue colour, which I love. I love this colour particularly paired with like those ready colours. I think that's really nice. So I'm going to pop that back in the box and then save that to go in our bedroom. We're slowly working our way through our candle collection, which is taking a bit of a long time, um, but I want to kind of have cleared a lot of them by the time we move, because obviously they're heavy and some of them are very fragile, so I want to enjoy them here. Sorry, Stormy wants to go out. So Stormy had a haircut yesterday and look at her. <laughs> she looks like a little we weasel, like a llama, don't you? Say hello. <laughs> so I want to try and use as many as I can before we move because I don't want them to break and I also don't want us to be mid renovations and um, like using these really nice candles like that one um, in like a mess basically. So yeah, I'm gonna try and use some of those before we move on, which I will update you all on very soon. I'm kind of planning on doing a sit down video when we've got some more updates, but I know I've mentioned this before, but this vlog that you're watching was probably filmed like two or three weeks ago from when you're watching it. So <laughs> uh, it's currently mid to late Feb. Um, and by the time you're watching this, I think it will be March. So yeah, we might have a few more updates on the moving front. 
<laughs> but back to the kind of PR event and day. So I went to another event, which I won't go through here. I'll talk to you about that in the future. But I also popped to Zara home, which you may have seen. And I did splurge a little bit on this purchase, but I came home and Mikey straight away was like, I love that. So I bought this throw, which has this gorgeous, like muddy, green colour and it's a mix between kind of like a, a heavy, oh I don't know what material you'd say it is, it's like this is kind of like a wool boucle material and then this is more of a linen but I would say it's slightly drier than a linen if that makes sense but it's so it's two-tone or it's got like a stripe around the edge but there you can kind of see how it looks and I love it with kind of the the brown of the wood in here but we have wood obviously in every room um, and with the white and just like neutral kind of vibe and I'm basically being quite careful at the moment to buy um, colours that I know I will love somewhere when we move like this for me is perfect in a bedroom in a living room in a guest room kind of anywhere so yeah i love that one and that was 69.99 in zara so not a bad price at all it's not like breaking the bank and i had a bit of a rough day so <laughs> but there were loads of delays with like my trains getting to london i had issues getting home i got rained on just i know those are really silly things but i've been feeling quite stressed recently and i just wanted to treat myself <laughs> i also picked up this pot from zara this was 15.99, it's 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres by 20 in height um, and it's just a really handy storage jar. I thought it would work really well in the kitchen as it stands, so I've mentioned this before. I'm saving a lot of the new Le Creuset stuff that we got because um, I worked with them for the next house. I want it all to be nice and new and just to kind of get really excited about it again but this is really similar to our compost bin our trash bin rubbish bin in the kitchen trash so i thought that would be really handy for like the dog treats or um like their poo bags that kind of stuff and just something that i can put everything in keep it on the side and get them treats out nice and easily but yeah, Zara had so many nice things that I was loving and yeah, just make, it's making me really, really excited to have a new project. I know I keep saying that, but I am looking forward to it and I think you guys um, will be kind of surprised by what is happening in terms of like house update, life update. I think a lot of people think that we will be in the same sort of like house or area like near bath um but yeah it's i'm not sure exactly what's happening right now we will see but i will update you very very soon okay i'm going to round off the vlog there but thank you so much for watching as always and if you did enjoy the video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me thanks for watching guys bye